And we're back with more Final Fantasy VI. I nearly busted out of my camera screaming for joy in the last episode because I gained Mog and I gained the ability to have no random encounters and all that fun junk. So now I can choose if the game decides to be a bitch, I can turn that off and go at my own pace. So, today we're going to go find Terra, I believe. I think the main goal is to find Terra and Gaw. So let's go do that thing. I believe we can get Terra now. It's been a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but I think you can do this whenever. Whenever you get the airship, I think. But yeah, this, this game pretty much boils down to what side quests do you want to do first? Which characters do you want to get first? What do you want to do? Go do it. And... Won't be good for this. Uh. So, if I remember right... The biggest question is, who has poison right now? Okay, Celeste does. I mean, if all else fails and we don't have it, then we don't have it. So, it's definitely looking like Celeste is our... Celeste is our damage dealer. But, look, if shit happens, shit happens. It's fine. But, we know what we're fighting already. He's coming back. The, the question is, when is he coming back? And we chose right now. Oh, yeah, there's also something I gotta um, mention later once we're on the airship, but... I'll worry about that. Just clearing off some specs from the stuff. Oh, yeah. So at this point, Terra is not in this room. They're in a different house. Um. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. Okay, good. So... Got the enhancer, we got... Okay, we okay, got... I'm pretty sure we can handle whatever the hell comes our way in most cases, but looky! Bye, Dwayne! Dork. Hey, guys! Kenrin's having a baby. I'm so happy to have a child, but Dwayne seems miserable. I... I... Not having kids b before, not having a wife or anything like that, it's tough for me to understand, but dealing with kids on any level of basis, I can understand the frustration, so. And besides, these are the oldest kids in this area. They're probably like 15 or 16, maybe even their early 20s, but that's a lot of responsibility. I don't know how to handle this. I've been an awful husband, but I'm learning. Please come back with me. I mean... Oh, shit. Now, why Foon Baba is always fucking with this town specifically, I don't know. <laughs> but, um... He's being a jerk. So... He needs to stop being a jerk. He needs to stop being a jerk. Ow! Let's get our uh, let's get our sun bath going. Or wind slash going. That works too. So he's 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 fighting for uh, real disease this time. And so are we. 
he's he's fighting for realsies. You gotta be aware of that. Ow! Come on with that sun bath. Come on with that sun bath. Come on with that sun bath. That'd be nice. Or you can just poison him. That works too. Sun bath, yay! Perfect timing. Perfect. Sunbath, yes! He, he's proccing Sunbath every single time. I love it. At some point, he's gonna do... Okay, that's less painful. I'll take that. He's doing Sunbath every turn! This is great! Baba Breath. Okay, who's he taking out? Our main damage dealer, great. And her mage healer. Oh, God. Well, crap. Okay, then. So we're going to do two magic dealers and one utility player. Fair enough. Okay, but at least Celeste has poison. So, or bio. Oh shit! Kind of funny. Her setup doesn't doesn't scream great right now because she doesn't have bio. But let's see how much damage she does regardless. I mean, almost as good. As long as he doesn't like punk us out with a damage spell, I think we'll be we'll be okay. And yeah, she'll be in this form all all day, so you don't need to worry about it. Oh yeah, d you can't do damage to me. So, she's not doing as much damage. Imagine what she could do if she had bio, but we were using Celeste, and we didn't get the bio spell. This is one of the few times poison actually wrecks a boss's face. So, that's one of those th unfortunate things. Uh-oh. Ow. Wow, you picked the person who can't be damaged by it. Imagine that. He he's trying. I'll, I'll give him that. He's trying. He's definitely trying. Blowfish. Oh, shit. Okay, that sucked. He was, he was, he was being a jerk. He was being a jerk. Cure's not the best, but at least get her back in fighting shape. Got him! Yay! I, I, I didn't want Terra to lose out. Because thematically it would be wrong if she did. Yeah, this section is not so bad. <laughs> yeah, this could end up being a shorter episode, but that's fine. Monster again! I'm afraid. I'm always afraid. There's supposed to be three different kids, I think. isn't it? I can tell. Oh, 
Mama? Tara? Mama! Tara! I... I can fight. Find me. I understand that feeling. Even though I kept it buried for so long. I'm sure it's called... Love. I now realize we must fight for the future of our children. Dwayne. Katerin needs your help. And so does your new baby. Listen, children. Your mama has to go away for a while. I'll return when I feel your future is guaranteed. Mama, I'm not gonna cry. Me either. I'll be back. I promise. Till then, you behave. Thank you. You helped me understand a part of myself. And now I must go to war. We must all believe we have a future. We must fight for those who aren't even born yet. Yeah, Terra is now in our party. Yes. So that means Celeste will also take point in any secondary party going forward. Um, so this is going to be a little tricky to do do, but Tara's going to take over as party leader. Celeste normally takes my takes point, but I, can't, I just can't deny it. I really just can't. Um, and we need a damage dealer, so I'm going to go with Sabin. I think Celeste and Edgar fit well because they can do they can kind of proc a second party and hold them up pretty well. Edgar is just solid all around. Damage-wise, utility-wise, he will fit well with Celeste, who can do tons of magic damage. But this party is, for now, pretty well balanced. And we're going to get somebody who is unbalanced as hell, so we'll be okay with that. But yes, Terra is going to take basically what Celeste was doing, but do it better. So she's gonna just completely wreck face magic-wise. <laughs> 59. I need the sprint shoes. Okay. Somebody's got to use them. Uh, eh, that's eh, fine. And she needs magic. So, how we do it in stabbing wise? And yes, look at that magic power. Double. Pretty much double anybody else. <laughs> or at least double saving, anyway. I think what I will do, since I'm running shorter than normal episodes, is I'm gonna do a couple of random things. I'm gonna do a couple of random things that will be short and to the point. You always want to save. Because this game does something unique with its airship that no other game has done so far. If anybody remembers Final Fantasy VII, you remember flying midway through the game and dealing with ultimate weapon and flying everywhere. You're not going to be notified when Doom Games shows up. So what you're going to have to do is save and be careful. So a couple of things. First off... 
go here. Talk to Sid again. I feel much better. Thanks, Celeste. Though she's not in the party. But if you come back... Palador! What's Palador are you saying? Oh, party members use jump it, so everybody gets a jump attack, but check this shit out. You get haste and slow super quick. Haste speeds up the entire party. You get that with Serpius, but you, you don't have to waste turns doing that. Slow too could be useful. So, utility up the butt. Nice. Well, I'm going to stop around Narsh. I can't say for sure which one is where, what, how, why, but I could swear it's close by. But I don't want to proc Doomgaze by mistake while trying to look for this place. And what I'm looking for is right there. So there's a, f there's a five tree... Why the surprised face? Did you think I'd gone? Duncan, I'm so glad you're safe. Whoa, Sabin, this can't be. Tears? <laughs> Nothing happened to me. The earth yawned right open to take me, but I scrambled to safety. Save it! It is now time to complete your training. Use these new skills to smash Kefka. Put them up! <laughs> I call this the bum rush. Hmm. Go! Give Kefka the boot! <laughs> That's Sabin's best skill, and it can be a doozy to use. Sometimes it won't work, as you can see. So you start from the left, and you got to circle all the way around. But if you can get this thing to work, it does a lot of damage, and it's going to get way worse the more you do it. But that should do it for this episode. We got Terra back. Next up is Gaul. So we're go actually going to go to the Velt, and we're going to get the dungeon in as well. So we'll get to test out the, the Moogle Charm in all its glory, if I so choose. <laughs> <laughs>